Hey guys, it is Lexi with my here, and I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. Last episode, me and Alden finally got married, and, oh, there you are, Alden. And I got this cool mini map, and what I, I found out is that there is a resource pack, and when you put on armor, the armor doesn't show, because see, you can still see this, so you can see it here, but I'm wearing armor. So I just kind of forged the armor with the, the Chorus Faithful Texture Pack. Chorus Darkness Faithful Edit Texture Pack. So I just use that because I like being able to see my skin and still have armor on. And I am using this skin just for my Rock of Comes Alive series just because it looks like better than the person in a 1v. So I'm going to try to work on the house this episode, but first I think that she will sleep. So I'm going to, there we go, perfect spot. So I'm going to go to sleep. Yes, I am tired, that's why I just said Okay. So I have a spot for my home, teleport to the village. Whoa. So, I kind of forged the backyard with the fence, I mean with the gate, to the city limits, so this will be our backyard, and then this is the back door, and I just did the layout, so this is how big the house is going to be around, and then this is the front door, there's the village, and then I'm going to have a whole front yard because I want my children to be safe, so, but I didn't want to, like, build without you guys, so I just did the layout because I was so excited because I was just like, I need to do something with you guys. And I just love doing MCA. Now that I'm married, I can actually make a house and make kids' rooms. And I won't have to be all alone. So yeah, we got married and I'm going to keep up that like little wedding thing for whenever people get married in the village. Like my sons and daughters got married. It'll just be so cute. Okay. This is my last of my stone bricks. This house is gonna be big though, and then I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have a kitchen, a bathroom, a um, laundry room, cause there's tons of stuff that you can do with the Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. So I'm just gonna do a lot of stuff. Sorry if you can hear all my clicking. Just like this done, but I want to make it look really really nice, and I think that we'll need to start. Um, burning some more, um, stone. Yeah. So let's go and burn some stone. Okay, so I've got this oven because I made it. Because I went on a huge mining trip and got tons of more stuff. So I have a lot of iron. So I made this oven. And I don't know if it burns cobblestone, stone. But so it doesn't really load the arrow thing. So we'll just wait for a little bit. And while I wait for that, I'm just going to put one of these. In here, and I made all of these um, furnaces because I didn't have a lot of space and I needed to do all that stuff. So that's making. Oh. I'll just do it this way. That will just have to go. This one's okay. There we go. We got four. Magical. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, Jacob. Okay. And then once I get, I we just need so much more stuff. I think that I'm gonna go mining just to get some, um, some cobblestone. So let's just go around. And get left. Oh my goodness. Emerald. It's perfect because it's in my cave area, so I could find some stuff like I just did with that emerald. Yeah, let's just get as much as we can. We need some more coal, so let's get this. And I really like that I got this mini map because I can just teleport to my cave and back to home. Just so much more useful, and I've used it in the nether. 
so then I can teleport, um, I can go really far away, and then I can teleport to the portal back. Oh, and I really need to show you guys something in the nether. So, once, while these are cooking, once I get a stack, then I'll go and show you what I found in the nether. And it's really close to my portal, I think. Well, it, I didn't have to go that far. And I just really want to show you guys, so once I get to a stack of cobblestone, then I will go into the nether and show you. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, no more, no less. We're cows, teleport. Oh my goodness. Put those in there. Okay, now let's go into the nether. Oh wait, we can just teleport. If we go to here, waypoints. Nether for next episode is what I called it. The, for now, teleport. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was so weird. Okay, let's actually go into the nether first before we do that teleporting thing. I didn't know how to do that. I never tested it out. Okay, so now that we're in the nether. Oh my goodness. I've countered so many um, ghasts. is isn't even funny. And I got a ghast here from one of them. See that app? It's right where we need to go. Yeah, it's just right there, I think. And I love how in this texture pack, the um, it's the fire is red. So for next episode, I was going down, and I saw that first. Then I turned, and blaze spawner. And I was like, oh my goodness, the blaze spawner. Because that's good, because then I could get like potions and stuff like that. And I okay, I have some good stuff. Okay. There we go. Because I want to be able to be able. I want to be able to. I can't speak. I want to be able to get back up. I need a potion. Like, so that I can jump the lava and not get hurt. But I don't even have. I can't get potions if I don't get blaze rods. But I can't get them if I don't go down to the blazes. I saw something. What is that? Oh, it's a magma cube. Okay, I'm just gonna waste it so that I can go across. <gasps> okay, I can get done here. Don't hurt me. There's withers. Go down and get it. Gotten more, but 
kind of scared to go and check. It's okay, we only need one. If we want more, we can just go back to the spawner. I didn't want to name, like, the teleporting thing Blaze Spawner, because then right when you saw it, you'd be like, <gasps> or maybe you weren't even surprised at all, but then you would know right away, and I didn't want anyone to know, so I just put it for next episode. So, let's go inside, and let's make this thing. Even though I forgot how to pick it. I think it's slabs. Like that. Yep. Bearing stand. Okay. So let's just put it on the table right there. And then let's get. I think we're gonna get some bottles for the witch. There we go. There's two glass bottles. Now let's go ahead and fill them with water. There's some water over here. Missed that jump. Okay. Okay, there we go. I got a water bottle now. Let's go and put them in the brewing stand and then. Oh, but we don't have another water. We'll have to go back later. Oh, and what I also didn't do last episode is when you get married is when you can get gifts from the villagers. So I just have to check all of the villagers. So. So, since neither of them, like, said married to Gail, so it wasn't... Whoa. That, that is really bad luck, and I don't know if it's my house. Okay, he's not good. I don't think that the guards give you presents. But let's go and just go around the village and search. Here, I'm gonna fix this arc really quick. Lag only comes when I'm recording really badly. Like, it only. Oh, uh, no. Where's Wilson, the guard? Where's Wilson? <gasps> Is that Dirk? <laughs> Come here, follow me. I, you have a present for me, so stay alive. No, that's not the reason that I'm seeing him. I'm here. Is that a stone? Oh, uh, gee, thanks. A stone sword. <gasps> Wait, was that Dirk or Aaron? Aaron, okay, because he isn't married, because I was going to say, <gasps> is Becca dead or something? Like, okay, where is Becca's home? Oh, okay, I think that I found Wilson's home. <gasps> Wilson, you have a present. 32 redstone, thank you, Wilson, that is a good present. You should talk to Aaron about good presents. Okay. Yeah. Like got stuck in the ground. Okay, so all the stone got like changed into stone brick. So I got it. I mean, all the stone is smelted. So I'm just gonna take all that stuff. I need one more stone to make more stone bricks. So let's just one. Oh, and I have more right there. Let's just do this one. One there, two there. Oh my goodness, I'm running low. I'm gonna need to get more when I go mining again. So let's go to the house really quick. So waypoints, home, teleport. Okay, here we go. Just get on with more of the building. I think that this should be enough to finish the walls at least. And I have to make room for the windows that I'm gonna have right here. 
So it's like gonna be really cool windows. I think that it should be like three. And then, then one, two, three. And then that will be closed or, now let's see if we have two spaces. I do three, three. Okay, I like that better. So let's do that, because then it's two in between everything, because then there's two blocks right here. Okay, so I like it when there's two space like that, so there will be the windows. And then let's get this one started out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three. Uh, I think that we'll just have a four block window right here. So let's just build around that. I think that I want the windows like three blocks high. I think that that will look a lot better than two. Oh, that is two. Then I want it two. Okay. So let's just do the windows. Hopefully I have enough blocks to finish off this house. Because I've already used like three stacks. So I think that I want the first floor to be about five blocks high, but this house is going to be uh, two floors, but I'm having like an angled kind of roof, so I think that it's going to be more than five blocks high for the second floor. On to the next spot, chip stack, stone bricks. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's now five blocks high. And I think that I will expand this window up, maybe. Let me see how that looks. Yeah, I'll make it three. Just because I think that that will look a little bit better. And I only have about two stacks left. It's just the first floor. So... We'll have to keep building up, but I need to know how to do the roof, so I better go and get my quartz. Go to the workhouse. Okay. So there's all the quartz, and then we'll bring all the crafting table. Put it right outside the house. Okay, like that. Okay, and now what I want to do? This. Oh my goodness. I want to put it right along this inside part. Keep on misclicking. I think that'll probably have to get some dirt so then I can build higher. Or I'll just make like a dirt staircase somewhere. Oh wait, no, no, no. that's not how I want it. Stink. There we go. Then have it out like that. That's how it's going to be, and then it's going to go up into a point. So on the side, I can. Ah. There we go. I think that I'm going to get some dirt so then I can build higher and it'll be a lot easier to build. For this egg. Okay, there we go. Oh. Break it, break it, break it. Okay. I need to make a lot more stairs. Okay, now I got 42. Let's see how far that will take us. Feeling that we're gonna have to make a lot more trips to the nether to get enough quartz for this. Oops. I guess for this side part I'll have to do it like this. I feel like I can I wish that I could just be able to fly oh that's why I can't go under. Okay, let's go 
like that. So then I can build in. Okay, let's go through the back door. And I'm just going to work on the roof now. Okay, guys, but I'm going to end it here. And this is what the house looks like so far. I ran out of court, so I've been going to the nether and getting more. But this is what it looks like so far. And I will work on it more next episode. And off camera, I will probably be getting more quartz. But thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode of Minecraft Comes Live. Bye!